are 21 songs in six days to learn ukulele the easy way. The way we're going to talk thing, about things today is the principles of left hand fingering on the ukulele, concepts of it. Uh, first of all, we all know that we have five fingers, but we do not use the thumb to stop the strings. The thumb goes on top of the ukulele here. The fingers that go down on the fingerboard are finger one, finger two, finger three, and finger four. And if I'm going to take the string closest to the floor, which is my A string, I could put zero fingers, which is called open. Then I put one finger, and that would be a half step from an A to a B flat. And I put two fingers, that's a B natural. And then I put three fingers, that's a C. If I strum all four strings, I have a C chord. And if I use four fingers, it's like this. I'm just strumming with my thumb. I can do that on the next string as well. And that would be my second string. It's named E, so you don't really need to know the names of the notes per se. It's good to know it later if you want to play scales or improvise, but when you're making chords, you don't really need it. And again, you play zero is open, one in the first fret, two in the second fret, three in the third fret, on the fourth fret. Now I'm not putting my fingers on the lines because that gives me a kind of buzzing sound. I put my fingers behind the lines. The lines are called frets. They're raised up from the fingerboard and the fret is what you want to have. Stop, stop the string to make the note, not your finger. It's different from violin or viola in that way. All fretted string instruments, you want your finger behind the fret, not really where the pitch is. You could do that on the third string. Or you could do it on the fourth string. This is a tenor ukulele, it's got a low G. You may have a soprano or a concert with a high G, but it's the same concept. Basically put your fingers on their tips near their nail. When you're done you will probably have lines on the tips of your fingers. That is really common for string instrument playing. That's a cool chord. Here's another one. Let me use a chord that uses a lot of fingers. And you can see that I end up with lines on the end of my fingers. Now when we put our first finger in the first fret, that is called the first position. I put my first finger in the second fret, that would be the second position. I put my first finger in the third fret, that is the third position, and on and on and on. The other thing we can do on ukulele is we can make a bar, and that's when you put your finger flat across all four. And if I put my third finger on the A string or first string closest to the floor, and I put my second finger across the bar, cool ways to get a D7, or I can actually have movable bar chords. These take some practice, and they do use that pinky, which most of us are not as comfortable using. So I hope these concepts will help you. Another thing I do like to tell all string students is if you have arthritis, or you're just cramped up in, in these two fingers here, you've got space. There's a lot of space between the fingerboard, the knot, the white piece of wood here, and your tuning peg. And you can put your hand way back in there if that's going to help you. If let's say you can't really bend that finger very well, you got a lot of space where you can kind of move your fingers around to find what's the most comfortable way for you to do it. But those are some concepts of string instrument fingering that I have found work on all string instruments and believe me, I play violin, viola, cello, bass, ukulele, guitar, mandolin. I don't think I've done banjo yet, but most I play most of the string instruments that exist. And those are concepts of fingering that are common to all of the string instrument families. And they are helpful. The other thing that you may know on your you could notice on your ukulele is that you have dots. And these dots tell you where the positions are. So this most some ukuleles have a dot at three. All of them have a dot at five. And what that 
would be your fifth position, but if you're playing, let's say you're playing the melody of Amazing Grace, so you're going to play. Then you need a note that's out of the first position, the dot is going to help you find it. And those dots are how the really, really good star ukulele players can find some of those really cool things because the dots help them locate where they are on the fingerboard. Most guitars have dots as well. So they are there to help you when you're advanced enough to need them. But for now, we're staying in the first position because we're just learning. So have fun with this. If you like the video, be sure to like us on Facebook.